Hi everybody, this week on Beast of War we are going beyond Operation Ice Storm and Operation Red Veal as we look at the expansion sets for both of these two player star sets for Infinity. Plus we have some amazing prizes up for grabs. First up we have the Operation Ice Storm 2 player starter set combined with the N3 rule set to get you and a mate started in the game. On top of that we also have another two player starter set for Operation Red Veal again bundled with the N3 rule set. As if that wasn't enough we also have three copies of the Human Sphere N3 rulebook set to give away. Get your comments in on any of the Infinity content this week on Beasts of War, Facebook or YouTube for your chance to win. Winners will be announced in an upcoming weekender, so stay tuned and enjoy the week. Hi guys, welcome to what is basically a Beyond Week. I'm joined by <laughs> Carlos from Corvus Belly, and this whole week is dedicated to... Um, taking you beyond Operation Ice Storm and Operation Red Veil. Um, but first, we, ha we have something special to do. We're going to go show you guys the, the great, what is it, the Beyond Bundle? The, the Gen Con Bundle. bundle? It, goes, yeah. it goes farther than you even, even think. <laughs> okay, Carlos, right, talk us through um, uh, what we're looking at. Well, uh, this summer... Big uh, Corvus Belly Infinity product is, is what you are seeing here, and let me try to explain the genesis of everything, okay? Yeah. Well, um, the most successful products of Corvus Belly Infinity so far are Operation Iceton and Operation Red Bale, okay? Mm -hmm. And we wanted to expand over that. Yeah. Because uh, we seen that many people enjoy very much Operation Iceton and Red Bale as a box experience. They have mm -hmm. Infinity in a box. They buy it, they, get, they play, and they experience what is infinity. And then many people ask, what do I buy next? Yes. And even the Red Bale and Iceton boxes tell you what to buy next and stuff. But it's a product that the market keeps asking for. Yes. And, and we also have an idea. Maybe uh, releasing an expansion with a name <laughs> on mm -hmm. it. Uh, it's a good way to, to grab gently all those players uh, to, to, to the hand and take them in deeper into infinity. Maybe this yeah. is a chance to explain more rules, to to find a, to keep on defining that path of getting into infinity. Yeah. Okay. Getting into 300 points. It's that yeah, I was about to say that. It's that path to 300 points. To the, the the 300 point is like the it's like the official game level. It's it's the level that everybody plays at yes. the tournaments. So if you can if you can find ways to to make it easier for people mm -hmm. to to really get started with the starter boxes, but you can now step them up. And also, is investing in beginner tools. Yeah. Every time Corvus Belli has invested in quick start rules, tutorial videos, mm -hmm. uh, PDF files. Every time that we have invested in that, it was a step further to to success, to have more players, to. Yeah. To know in that, that the communities are healthy and getting new blood, your blood, guys, we we, we love you. <laughs> so apart from these products, which uh, obviously objective number one, let's deliver awesome, incredible miniatures. I mean, yeah. what what eye candy that makes people interested in everything. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, we are going to deliver a website with more rules, tutorial videos. Remember, yeah, last year those how to play Red Bale videos. Yes, yeah. More of those videos, more that of that kind of stuff. And also PDF files, so people can continue step by step getting into Infinity. Mm -hmm. So once again, this is investing in tools for the beginner players. Yeah. Tools for the workers also to, to say, hey, check these videos or check these uh, boxes and these miniatures so you can keep on learning stuff, learning camouflage, learning impersonation, mm -hmm. and getting deeper into Infinity. Yeah. Essentially. That's, that's yeah. the main focus of this. Mm -hmm. And if it looks beautiful, and if it is also, uh, also has attractive two profiles and miniatures that also are super interesting for veteran players, that's a winner for me. That's a winner. That has it all. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. let's do it. Let's jump into it. Okay. Um, well, if we kick off with the Beyond Ice Storm. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Ice Storm was the, the first box set. The, 2014. That came out. Super successful product. Let me uh, show you guys uh, this. So this is the... The Beyond Ice Storm set. Carlos, is it okay if I open it up? Yeah. Yeah? So let's um, let's crack into this and see what's yep. inside. Um, we're very fortunate not only do we have the boxes, but we also have painted versions of the minis yeah. that I can show you as yeah. well. So Carlos, 
What have we got in here? So the seven, six miniatures? Six miniatures plus uh, one special miniature for pre-order, okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, let's begin with Pano. Let's begin with this guy, for example. Okay. Let's start with the, the contents of this. Okay. So who have we got here? Well, that's totally something new, okay? Yeah. Uh, the concept part of that uh, particular miniature was shown last year and people get pretty excited. Because that is the Kamau, okay? The Kamau. The Kamau is part uh, of a Baruna Immediate Intervention Division mm -hmm. sectoral army that has not yet been released. So this yeah. is the, like something totally fresh and new. The Kamaus are like the Navy Seals of Pan Oceania in Infinity. They mm -hmm. are. They have aquatic terrain. Oh, wow. And more stuff, because their true profile is something that the players still don't know, okay? Yeah. This will be really <laughs> revealed during this week, because we have ton of, tons of stuff to show you here. So consider this guy as a Navy SEAL, elite troop, elite yeah. line infantry, and, and something that, well, for example, for veteran players, it's huge yeah. to, to have a, a come out now, coming back. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one I want to show you. Yep. Yeah is Neo Terra Volt with Medikit. Okay. Okay. And this one comes with a Medikit, which is a rule that we will would like to explain to beginners so yeah. they understand how to heal the miniatures, okay? Okay. So and this is what she looks like paint. Oh goodness me, she's beautiful. Yes mm -hmm. she is, yes she is. What a beautiful miniature. Female model, you know, to balance all the testosterone from this box. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, Ooh, watch it, watch it. Those yes. are Angel Giraldez painted they miniatures. Are, they well, are man. Angel Giraldez painted miniatures. Care Angel knows I drop miniatures. He sends them here knowing full well <laughs> that I, I, am, I am the world's main dropper of miniatures. And it, uh, there's, a, there's a rule. Uh, I am more likely to drop it on the inverse of how well it's painted. So the better painted it is, the more likely I am to drop it. So, okay, who this, do we have next? This is pure eye candy. I yeah. cannot tell you... This so let me show you the, the, the parts first so as you can get a, a little feel for what's what's in that bag for you to put together. Okay. Okay, are you ready for this now? Because here yeah! is the picture. Oh, yes. I, I, I'm, I mean, sometimes you know when you have something powerful on, on, on your lens, on your camera. This yeah. is the Swiss, the Swiss guard, okay? From Neoterra also. And, and he's holding an HMG, which is, well, one of the most effective weapons in the game. Yeah. This guy... Is demolishing. <laughs> Just look. At I that. do not have enough adjectives <laughs> to to point at this pano miniature. Total diva in the photos. The beautiful source lighting on the leg yeah. there. And, and I mean, uh, the, the the kind of miniature that you can go to a painting contest with. Yes. So if we for a second take a look at the lovely pano selection of miniatures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have there the Operation Ice Storm Pano miniatures behind, and mm -hmm. this is the Beyond Ice Storm Pano selection yeah. of miniatures. For a second, allow me please to, to show this miniature uh, in, a, in a different angle. Look at that, look at that. It's um, just incredible. It's a it? super model, it's a super yeah. model. <laughs> okay, let's uh, go on, and now mm -hmm. with, the, with the Nomads, let me show okay. you the Hellcat. Okay, Hellcat. Right, let me get okay. the, this is the, the components. Yep. So, classic here we, profile here we have of the Nomads of Corregidor, mm -hmm. a super popular army. Doesn't matter if it rains, doesn't matter if it is snowing, everybody likes Corregidor. Uh -huh. Okay, this is the uh, Hellcat with the Spitfire. Okay, Where do you see this? Oh, it's wow. a, a drop troop. Uh, Nomads didn't get. Uh, adult troop in Operation Ice Storm, and now, now they are getting it. Now they it. have one. Oh, I, Carlos, this is beautiful. Oh, well, all Hellcats are. <laughs> yeah. Wow, just look at it. What an incredible miniature. Okay. So, who have we got next? This is one of the most influential, dominating figures from the whole range of mm -hmm. Nomads. This is the intruder. With the sniper rifle, we have made a female version. Mm -hmm. Which I'll bring in uh, now. <gasps> this particular model uh, in the true profile, well, uh, veteran troops, uh, veteran soldiers know what I'm talking about. This is uh, a model that has camouflage, has a sniper rifle, multi visor level 2, and X visor. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. He, uh, you cannot have an ugly miniature for this group of fire. <laughs> no, of because course Because <laughs> the level of attention that such a sniper has uh, on Infinity Table is incredible. Tell, uh, you spend 30 minutes of the battle just looking at that particular figure. Yeah. So it demands, the, the market demands it to be beautiful, okay? <laughs> Over the top. <laughs> and finally, and finally, for the nomads here, this is this is heavier than, than, than the rest. This is something new. Where do you check this out? Yeah, this <laughs> is, there's there, there's a lot of metal in this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is a silhouette five heavy infantry for Tunguska, uh -huh. a settler army that has not yet been released. Yeah. So it's even more exciting for everyone here. Uh -huh. Is this? Oh my word. That is the Krithaborax from Tunguska. Okay. Oh my word, look at it. You can say that uh, Corregidor has uh, some kind of South American flavor. Yeah. Okay, Bakunin is crazy all over it. Look and the there's something like Russian me. going on with the Tunguska sectoral army. And I see uh, this massive heavy infantry, uh, and to me it has that kind of Russian flavor in some kind of way. I don't yeah. know how to explain it. I love the texture on the suit. Mm. You know, it, even the very, you know, the, the hexagonal texture in the suit is visible. It's just, what a screaming model that is. So, uh, during this week, we will also reveal the true profile of the Kithaborax. Of this? Is, yeah, 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 yeah. So you know how he behaves on the yeah, battle. Yeah, over the course of this week, we're going to have um, battle reports for each box set and in-depth uh, looks at the troop profiles for each box set and some behind the scenes look at the artwork and things yeah, like the that designs, that which, are, which yeah. are very important for delivering these this kind of miniatures. Lovely uh, photo here of the nomads. Mm -hmm. uh, so behind you have the operationized nomads, and now the reinforcements has arrived with Intruder Sniper, which is super important for, for nomads, Kithaborax as the superstar, and the always effective and reliable Hellcat with the yeah. Spitfire. Uh, I'm in love with oh, the well, Let me show you the, the face off of, of all those troops. Mm -hmm. Because this is the. <laughs> so, this is the, the, content, uh, the contents of Beyond Ice Storm. So, uh, Ice Storm itself, Operation Ice Storm itself, had what, mm. 10 miniatures in it in total? Or, or Were uh, 14, 14 plus 1, which was the pre order miniature. Uh -huh. So, during the first man, for month, it was 15 miniatures. Yeah. And, and this has 6 in it. Six but plus during one. the first month, it also has a pre-order miniature in it, yeah? Okay. Correct, correct. Do we want to get a look at it? Yeah, of course. This is the authorized bounty hunter, uh -huh. okay? With uh, breaker pistols. Yeah. So let me just show you the components. Yep. So these are the components of the, the bounty hunter here. Mm -hmm. uh, let's bring them in. Oh, I call this painted tattoos on this guy. Oh, my word. Mm. Look at that. What a beautiful, beautiful miniature. Yeah. We're, we're happy with that, especially with the, the comic part. It, it, it happened naturally. So, um, free exclusive figure with your pre-order, Authorized Winter Hunter pre-order from July 24th to August 21st. So that, those are the contents of Beyond Ice Storm. But we have something else. We have Beyond Red Veil. Let's go with them. Okay, so let's uh, go with Beyond Red Veil. Here we have Beyond Red Veil. Okay, so once again, I'm going to open it up to have a look inside. Okay, so let's crack open the box. Oh, another big base in there as well. So, okay, Carlos, I will pass them to you. Okay, let's go. I'll put this out of the way. Well, I love this model. Uh, I mean, something that you should do if you have artists, talented artists, and experienced artists uh, making the stuff that they know, like Infinity. Mm -hmm. Carlos Torres, the main designer, making what he knows best. Infinity being Infinity. Yeah. The best thing you can do, the, the smartest thing you can do is not get around. Yeah. Allow the artist to have their space. Don't come with, eh, I want everything to be allow them to deliver the stuff. I mean, yeah. they're in their own 
they have been doing this for years. So yeah. making miniatures and, and it's just naturally, <laughs> it comes yeah. naturally. Don't even mess with them. Okay, so, so let's see what we have here. So uh, what is this character called? This is a classic Hack Islam troop. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the Hassassin Fidei. Yeah. Okay, this is an impersonator. This guy disguises himself as an enemy troop, so infiltrates. Look at that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love this one. Like crouching, like looking at. I'm shaking from a just holding it. It's, it's that good. Like he's looking from a hill to the enemy army and yeah. identifying the lieutenant so he can disguise himself and stab him in the back. Something like that. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Has something very narrative also in, in, the, in the posing. Incredible. Yeah, I love it. I love it. So, but that's not enough. Let's. Okay, another Hak Islam miniature. There we go. So these are the the bits and bobs. Female Hassassin Rajik, which is oh. a, a paratrooper, a drop troop. Oh, where do you see this? With boarding shotgun, which is a demolishing oh. weapon. <laughs> Carlos, these are superb. Yeah. Ah, uh, and I like very much the, the way the um, how to assemble the backpack. It's yeah. a very solid grip for, for the wings. So Yeah, so there's no there's no fragility in this. No, yeah. no, no. The previous one, the, the ones from two thousand eight or something like that, had a very fragile uh, grip. Now it's yeah. very solid. So uh, in Operation Red Bale, Yu Ching did have a drop troop and Hagislan didn't. Now, in Beyond Red Bale, Hagislan gets their own drop troop yeah. to balance the thing a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and finally, the big base guy is this one. You're going to love this. Uh -oh. What do you see? Okay, so in we go for a quick look. So there's your big chunks of metal. Look <laughs> at that big great coat there. Flip me. Okay, this guy is Tariq Mansuri. He's uh -huh. a character from yeah. the from Infinity Flap. He's a hero for Hack Islam. Oh, are you ready for this? Look at that! This guy is belongs to the Kawarij uh, unit, which means uh, red, red turban. Uh -huh. And he's a genetically enhanced super soldier. That may sound familiar to you. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Tariq Mansuri, the hero of, of Hag Islam, uh, the most expensive in points value uh, troop of the, of the box, and with a Spitfire in his hand just to deliver more, more chaos into the enemy. So, let's go with the Yu Ching miniatures. Mm -hmm. Okay, we will begin Gilan Ghost Wolves with the sniper rifle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Let's get that open. There we go. There you go. Okay, let's see. So here we have the components. Let me just turn that over so as you can see. There you go. Now let's bring in the painted miniature. <laughs> so this, uh, well, in Yu Ching, everybody who has played generic Yu Ching loves the Gilan because it's a very, very complete and reliable troop. Has multi spread advisor level one, has camouflage, uh, in, um, infiltration. Mm -hmm. uh, is, is above average as a skirmisher. Uh, just costs a little more, but really delivers extra power into the table. Yeah. And, well, it's a Gilang. I mean, you have, you can, we cannot explain. You have to feel it. You have Color to, scheme. You have to that. experience. <laughs> it's just amazing. I, I'm. It, it, you know, I, it's heartbreaking sometimes looking at the paint jobs from Uncle Heraldes, but, you know, it, what inspires me, I'll never be able to paint like that, but I could paint the colour scheme. <laughs> I, could, I could do the colour scheme. Yeah, you, can do, you can do my part of the, of the job, but not yeah, Angel's part. Yeah, yeah, I, I could do the colour scheme. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. This... Uh, it's a light infantry also from Yu Ching and uh -huh. belongs to Imperial Service. Uh, this is an Imperial Agent San Jing, which means eagle. Okay. And let's have a look at him. Yeah. <sighs> Again, just look at the flow of the cape. Yeah. And that cape is actually uh, built into that. You know, it's not stuck on pieces. It's just really, really beautifully sculpted. Mm hmm this particular uh, line, like infantry from Yu Ching, 
well, far from the, that kind of posing. Uh, as a player, I like the miniatures to be looking to where they are shooting. You know? yeah. So I find those very comfortable to play with. I will always say that. Mm -hmm. uh, apart from that, uh, this particular loadout of the Imperial Age engine is one of the most common and most used uh, in ITS because he can be a specialist as a forward observer uh, with this particular loadout. Yeah. Now we have um, a computer app that tells us all the data from the tournaments and which are the most common and most used uh, weapon options and loadouts from, mm -hmm. the, from the troops. So when we are choosing which two are we releasing and what is the slow that, that he will have, uh, we'll check those you have that data, data that you start and we know them. that the uh, Imperial Agents engine with uh, breaker rifle is one of the most popular mm -hmm. options, so boom, do it like so that. All the miniatures in these two boxes are brand new miniatures. Uh, there's yeah. no repacks in no, any no, of no, this. No, 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 those are totally new. It's a, it's a superstar product of the summer. Yeah, has to okay, be yeah. So, awesome. it's, um, so this is this is all entirely new. So even people, even experienced players who haven't bought um, Red Veil because they maybe already have it, this this is this is an opportunity for them to pick up brand new bits and pieces for their yeah, armies. Yeah, those well. are totally oh, new sculpts. Mm -hmm. Some of them are classic true profiles. Yes. Maybe some of them already had a sculpt before. But now this is the new generation of miniatures. Yeah. I mean, up to the actual standards of Corvus Belli. So okay, now who is this guy? That is the best uh, couple for dancing of, of, of the Gilang. This yeah. is the Dao Fei, which is also a camouflage troop. Mm -hmm. and Let's bring him in. Yeah, for this a is look. the star of Yuching of this box. Oh. This is a Dao Fei, a total privilege of Yuching, because it's a heavy infantry with camouflage and infiltration, which is totally not common. Yeah. Okay, this is like when you are giving something to a faction that is above average. Look at the camouflage on the coat, guys. Yeah. Oh, dear. He's coming with an HMG, and he's ready to deliver death to the enemy. This uh, is a miniature that you can play uh, with a generic Yuqing. Mm -hmm. okay, it does not belong to any of the current sectoral armies. Yeah. We'll see what happens in the future with the Dao Fei. Mm -hmm. But this is the kind of true profile that um, finds its own spot in your list. I mean, yeah. uh, above average, totally. Yeah. And let me show you the pick where he is, here is the face off. Mm hmm. Face off of this particular selection of soldiers facing each other, Tariq Mansuri against the Dao Fei. There you go. Let me show you how this looks. If you combine them oh, with the Operation yeah. Red Bale miniatures, this is Hack Islam. Look at those colors. I like very much the, the Hack Islam range. Yeah. And the same happens with Yu Ching. And when they are orange and you put them with a green background, looks great. Yeah. <laughs> So there you go, those are the miniatures. And we haven't even showed yet the the extra, the special. So this oh look at that. So mm. this is this is the exclusive that if you order it up this month, yep, this is the the seventh exclusive miniature that'll come in the box. Correct. Okay, so I can show you guys the components. So what is this guy's name? This guy belongs to uh, it's a CSU corporate corporate security security unit. Mm -hmm. So these are like bodyguards. Okay. Yeah. So sometimes you will have a mission with a rescue and a VIP or something like that. Yeah. And these guys will be around protecting. Look at the texture on the inside of that coat. Yeah. That is just to die for. Absolutely incredible. Look at the lines. And this mm. is one of the things, you know, although these have been absolutely expertly painted, Carlos, I'm looking at these and seeing so much detail in these miniatures. That for the the mortals among us, the washes and stuff are just going to pick up these lines and they're just going to pop. Well, maybe painting those lines is difficult, but the texture comes in the miniature. I mean, yeah. And textures is something that you will see more often now in the in the in Infinity miniatures, uh, especially this year, because mm -hmm. I see in Carlos Torres investing more time in, in caring about textures, especially yeah. for for the inner surfaces. Especially, you will see that also in the outrage box. And things yet to come. Things that I yeah. only I have seen in future designs, 
that uh, take the chance to to make those surfaces more interesting. Yeah, that is just beautiful. So um, right. So yes, yes. availability then. Okay, so yeah. this is the box set. This is available July twenty fourth to August. 21st. 21st. Okay. Also uh, at Gen Con, obviously, these mm -hmm. are the summer events. And also at the Interplanetary, which is the big Spanish uh, tournament uh, uh, of Infinity. Mm -hmm. which is so the guys, the Interplanetary, uh, the Interplanetary takes place around the, the 24th, doesn't it? Or it's, uh, uh, If we are publishing, make, <laughs> is this going on 17th? 17th? Yeah. It's next week. Yeah. It's, it's, it's okay. Next week so the and... interplanetary guy should be able to pick this up. Yeah. Gen Con definitely should be able to pick yeah, this up. Yeah. This 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 is the big operation of every summer, releasing mm -hmm. something powerful that will be at the big events and also is the, the super offer. For the rest of us though who aren't going, yeah, but we you can, can go to the online store and you and can get go this, yeah. to your local gaming store to uh -huh. get this. You can order this through your local gaming store. The, as it happened with Operation Iceton, with mm -hmm. Operation Red Bale, with US Ariadna, is the summer product. Okay, mm -hmm. so you, it's available everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. everywhere. Great. Right. However, however, for for those folk that um, <laughs> uh, do decide to jump on board, there's a there's a bit of a special for them. Yeah. We have so many special stuff this year, Warren. This year, <laughs> this year is one too much. We had manga, we had uh, Joan Joan, we have uh, Aristea at some yeah. point happening. We have uh, the Beyond boxes, and we have more stuff because you know we have a machine and we push a button and, <laughs> it and just creates pops out. <laughs> awesome stuff for you guys, for you the guys who are going at Gen Con or the Interplanetary, or for you guys who are willing to check out the Corvus Valley Online Store, there's something exclusive, something special, and mm -hmm. it's coming now, okay? Look at that! Mm. That particular guy is the Intel Spec Op for Ariadna, but that uh, special option is uh, the Grunt version for US Ariadna. Uh -huh. So this will be like the American Intel Spec Op, okay? Mm -hmm. This uh, miniature is a uh, um, Jenkins exclusive, let's say yes. it like that, mm -hmm. or Interplanetary exclusive, or Corvus Online Store exclusive. It's something special. So Gen Con, Interplanetary, or Online Store. Okay. Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. This is similar to last year, um, Unknown Ranger, on previous year, Van Sand, something like that. Yeah. Separate blister, very special miniature, limited edition, only available during the pre-order period of operation. So only during that month then, of yeah. July 24th to Correct. August. Yeah. Correct. Okay. That is the, the time frame that mm -hmm. we have here. Okay. Tell me a bit about this guy. Well, he's an spec op, uh, probably for hidden operations. Yeah. The spec ops in Infinity usually have experience uh, XP, experience points rules that yeah. allows you to upgrade them from one mission to another when you're playing a, a campaign. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that allows uh, them to be a very flexible, in terms of design, when you're designing a spec up, it has to be able to carry every kind of weapon, to represent every kind of uh, upgrade, like uh, armor, for example. Yeah. So it's a very, uh, supposed to be a true profile that you can customize, okay, yeah. with mm -hmm. a certain system of points. Yeah. Uh, why are we releasing the, <laughs> the uh, US Ariadna spec up before anyone else? Because they are rangers and rangers lead the way. <laughs> That's it. Okay, there you go. <laughs> um, I think we have the miniature here as well. Yes. So let's uh, let's go look at this bad oh, yeah. boy. And if I allow me, you can. Okay. Open so the I, I have one here. This is the components. Okay. So um, let me just get the rest of them out there. So here you can see the the different components that go together to create them. Okay. And then the actual miniature itself. Just look at it. It's got almost a splinter cell type look to it, doesn't it? Mm. It's really, really cool. Uh, uh, well, I'll uh, try not to drop him. Uh, Sorry, Uncle. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. What a beautiful miniature. Well, um, I would assume that's us done. That's all. That's all. We ha we uh, we say goodbye to this video. No, <laughs> we have more stuff. <laughs>
Okay, so there is yet another exclusive, yeah? We have something extraordinary here. We have yeah. a miniature that is not uh, for gameplay of Infinity. We have something that's totally out of the box. Unexpected. Uh -huh. An experiment from Corvus Belli, but w the final result was so lovely that we decided to make it. We yes. decided to make even a special box for it. Uh -huh. Okay, so this... <laughs> and please don't laugh, this is a very serious stuff. Okay. <laughs> this lovely. is... Miyamoto Musashi TV version. The okay. Chibi Musashi! Chibi Musashi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's absolutely fantastic. So, um, yeah, it, we have uh, a Chibi Musashi box. So there it is. Um, this is... Uh, oh, let me just open it up. Now, whenever you get the box, there's going to be foam inserts and stuff like that. Yeah. Isn't it? Let me just pop out the, we the miniatures. fast enough to have the, the box. Uh -huh. I wanted to show you because I find so it lovely. So let me show you the, the components. Oh wow, there he is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wanna fight? <laughs> oh, absolutely fabulous. Look at the blades. And, and we have the painted version of this one as well. Yes, we do. Oh, guys, what do you see this? Can you so. believe this? This is the fifth Musashi figure that Corvus really has made. Oh. Okay. There was a Look at that there. Look at the eyes follow you on this one. There was a very old uh, Musashi figure from Corvus Belli from 2006, probably. Yeah. Okay, then uh, last year we replaced that one with a double feature box. Yeah. Okay, that was uh, especially lovely. Then we have made also the new Musashi for Aristeia. Mm -hmm. And during the process, and, and, and because we wanted to try something new, uh, one of the sculptors made this experiment of Chibi Musashi. Yeah. For trying to deliver a chibi aesthetic to the infinity range because we love that kind of stuff and we were so satisfied with the result that we decided to to jump with it and finally release it <laughs> so everybody can enjoy the chibi musashi because it's a little uh, a piece of merchandise i will say yeah. it's a little jewel it's a, li it's a little piece of history because sooner or later um, all the details of why they why they experimented with this will start to come out. So, um, uh, grabbing one of these uh, is grabbing a little bit of a uh, little bit of Corvus Belli history. A I little think, you know? jewel, a Corvus Belli extravaganza. Yeah. So finally, why is this video showing so many stuff all together? Because this is a bundle, guys. Okay, mm -hmm. and let me show it to you in a single image that explains everything. Okay. There is the chance for you to get this bundle and end up having four exclusive limited edition models, okay? Right. Four, not one, four. This is yeah. totally extraordinary this year, okay? So, you can check out that at Gen Con and Interplanetary and also a Corvus Belli online store, okay? Uh -huh. And that will be getting your Operation Red Bale and uh, Beyond Red Bale and Beyond Ice Storm with those pre-order miniatures, plus the uh, Inter Spec Ops Grand version limited edition, and you will get for free the Miyamoto Musashi. Right. So order Red Veil expansion, Ice Storm expansion, the Grunt Intel Spec Ops, mm -hmm. and you get GB Musashi for free. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, approximate price. Uh, I will say. Um, Approximate because I'm, I'm familiar with the Gen Con prices. Okay, yeah. you can buy this separately, mm -hmm. and Chibi Musashi will be like twenty bucks. Mm -hmm. The Gen Con will be like twenty bucks, yeah. and the other two boxes are like fifty bucks each. Mm -hmm. So you end up saving twenty bucks essentially. Yeah, yeah. and getting uh, a piece of a Corvus piece of Belli history. history. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So you know what to do. Um, uh, for the rest of this week, like I said, we're going to be putting out videos, so you're going to get to see all these things in action on the tabletop. And as well as that, you'll be able to, to find out some of, the, some of the stories and things like that behind the artwork and the, the design process of them. Carlos, it's always wonderful to have you on the show. Thank you so much. I'm just... <sighs> they make you weep, some of these. Guys, thank you for watching. If you've got questions or whatever, post them in the comments below. I'm sure Carlos will hop in and do his best to, to answer them. Right. Enjoy the week. Enjoy the, the deeper look at these things. Um, we'll be back soon. Take care, guys. Hi, everyone. We hope you're enjoying this themed week. Make sure you don't miss any of it by checking out the playlist. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button to ding our dong so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, come across and join us on BeastsofWar.com for more great gaming content and a fantastic community. Also, get your comments in for your chance to win.